So with all the new adversaries and new revelations coming out about these criminals and everything like that, I don't know who I'm more hyped to see really in action, whether it be Dorshi, Apius, Domas, Hakuro actually, Despa, or Boji, or Daida Bose. Like there's so many high S tier fighters all conglomerated in this city right now. I know we're about to see some crazy stuff. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episodes 13 and 14 of Ranking of Kings. This one is called The Kingdom in Turmoil. Last episode, we had a little showdown of, well, the criminals who escaped by Miranjo were told they are free to do whatever they want. So well, some of them went loose, took uh, Bosse captive, tried to take over the country, tried to be the king. Then they started turning on each other and Ukon killed. I didn't get his name, which is the one I'm bummed I didn't get his name. Was it Kingbo? I think it actually might have been Kingbo. I'm gonna write that down. I just remember that. Um, Okan seemingly killed Kingbo, and then it turned out Kingbo was who I assume is the son of the guy Boji met in the cave, who was a king as well, which is crazy. But then we saw Kingbo's hand like twitch at the end, so I think he's still alive. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I gotta find out what happens though. I am way too hyped. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down. The, links are in the description down below, like always for you guys. If you guys want to watch this live with me on Twitch, we are live right now watching every reaction we do. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Great vibes, great time. Come on by and say what's up. Other than that, follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Let's hop right on into this ranking of kings. Episodes 13 and 14. First one is called The Kingdom in Turmoil. Let's do this. Really? I still wondered why she died and we never found out. Dorshi is not having it. I want to see him go ham. Oh, some hand blades? This is Hilling's personal guard. Okay, we got Anne, a little female knight, putting her life on the line for healing. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, we're surrounded already. Meanwhile, we have five now heavy-hitting criminals up here as well. Why is Ukon looking at healing like that? Oh. Oh. Okay, he got a little torn up. My man has like back blades. My man is like Wolverine. Oh, and she missed. Ooh, nice headshot though. But we have two more joining. He's like the Red Baron and the Black something, right? <laughs> yeah, be prepared to flee at any time. Hilling, get out of here. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. Dorshi's about to throw hands. I say blades. Okay, Anne's got the throwing knife. Anne's kind of nice with it. Shink, 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 shink. This guy is ginormous. Not really fair. That could kill them all. Anna Dorsey, kind of a nice little tag team. Oh no. He is very precise with it. Did you do the same? Did you do the same thing you did to Kingbo, where she can't make a grip now? Cut like her vein? Good, do some healing magic. That was a great throw by hand. Okay, all right. Nope, at that point, I'm running. I'm not looking back. No, not a... She can use holy spells too? Man, I only knew for Anne for like 10 seconds, but she was dope. 
She's still alive? Are we able to heal her neck? Neck injuries are like, oh my god. You know, healing is a, a healing goddess. Oh, we were able to actually close her wound. That's a fucking gash in her neck. She's probably exhausted, though, after healing herself and her. She's got, like, potions she can drink out of, or replenish some mana, some health. She's gonna fight till the bitter end. Who can save her in the blink of an eye? Domas and Hakuro are going to destroy the gate to the underground, right? Apius saved her? He went against me, Ranjo? What? He's literally holding me, Ranjo, while be. What about. So she's listening to Apius' wishes right now to that to maintain his him as a subordinate. My man Dorshi said I'm he still ha he My man is the legendary shield that will never falter or break. My man said forget the shields, forget the weapons. The end of the day, it's gonna be myself before healing. Ten times out of ten. He said, I'm throwing Mike Tyson hands. I respect Apius for doing that because they're his friends, people he's loved for a long time. And Miranja waiting a second so that it could be a proper fight. And I respect that and all, but I'm just so curious. Okay. That thing's innards are no longer there. That thing is beyond dead. Is he gonna kill these people? Is he gonna be cool? Okay, that answers my question. Ukon is gonna go on a rampage. Oh! Oh! So she doesn't want Apius to see this. Yeah. Because he's very conflicted. He's served and he he's serving and has devoted himself to Miranjo. But he obviously doesn't want Dorshi. Yeah, he's been with them these guys for so long, you know? Uh huh. So it's truly to help Balse, but then why do you say you want to bring this country to ruin? So this is when Hailing was first introduced to him. Wow, she can just feel it. Okay. So is he choosing Miranjo then? Okay, he is. She, they're like, she left. So now what? They're gonna stop attacking? They're gonna actually finish the job and kill him? Oh my god. He's getting torn into. My man lost a foot? The title of this episode is pretty damn accurate so far. The Kingdom in Turmoil. Prince Oaken. Prince Oaken? Did I know that before? I thought they said he was commander of the... Underworld. So, this is a weird little guess, but if he called him Prince Oaken, and Despa and Desha know in depth his power i'm assuming he's another brother of them honestly he could be prince ape oh they're going after healing and apius did apius just die she can she changed into a diamond in the last couple episodes ago now she turned into gold Okay, APS is not about it. He is nice like that. You fuck with me, Ranjo. He is not having it. 
その勝負マスターおい、待て気の迷いって言うつだ I mean, he's the only one who's been apologizing and stuff. He seems pretty rational. How were they able to escape with Niranjo and Red? They were able to actually take out a- What? This show always does this. They never give me the answers, man. Come on. All right, on to the next episode. Episode 14. This one's called The Return of the Prince. Okay. My man does not give up. I will give him that. My man is one of the goats. Dorshi better go down as one of the as one of the goats. Here's Bull say, Bevin, is Bevin trying to free him or is he the one holding him hostage? And then he thinks of Muranjo. Come on, Boss say, go save your wife, please. He doesn't, so he instinctively wants to save Hilling and help her. But what is Muranjo's plan? Why is he cool with doing this? My man has lost an eye. He's lost a leg. He's gotten gashes all over his body. And he's still saying, I'm alright, while you still can run. I forgot the name of the three-headed snake. Bebin and Boji's homie is coming to save the day. Let's go. I love this snake. <laughs> That was a good time. Oh. 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 Okay. Look at the amount of healing she has to do. Suck in that juice. Think of that man, Dorshi. Oh, yeah, he's the goat. Come on. I love how her healing magic just produces life in general. Grass, flowers. I just. That's a nice little touch. I love that. Very reminiscent of Mimosa's healing from Black Clover. Yeah, my man sadly lost an eye and a leg. But at least we were able to heal him to where he's not in imminent danger anymore. Let's go. Healing is... Healing's one of the goats, too. Oh, the little snakes. Let's go. Clutch. One hit will knock him out? No, it won't. This is going to be a good battle. OG knocked his ass out. Aww. He's worried for the snake. I am too. <laughs> Come on, please heal my friend, please. Killing has had to fucking heal today. All my potions, yeah. Was that from his personal stash? Okay, where does Kage have all this from? Yes, let's drink this. Mitsumata, I gotta write down his name. I fuck with Mitsumata heavy. You need some spirit bomb energy? I'll give you some of mine, healing. This is Elden Ring in real life. Using a heal incantation, popping a an FP flask, using another one. Boji! Knock him out! Okay, Boji's just saying, I want to be a shield for you, but I need you to knock him out, Boji. This man is scary. Is this one of Despa's powers? Is this a part of the Despa arts? It's like Demon Slayer. He can see the visualization of, of an opening. And now he can see that, and he's just gonna... Ooh... Like it's nothing. The precision. Like it's nothing. Literally no force. Dink! Even the slightest bit of shock will crack even the hardest of materials. Now what's gonna happen if he does that same thing with your foot? He detected it to his instinct said, no, this kid is dangerous. 
Oh, he hit it that fast. I didn't even see him hit it. Sink. Like it was nothing. God damn. Meanwhile, back at the captain fighting Ulken. Fire. Oh, this is a flashback? This is a flashback, I see. OG's trying to help out. That's why this kid's the best, man. He knows he can't carry the bucket, so he just grabs a cup. You know, anything, any little bit that helps. Come on. Okay, Dida. Who are you feeling like out here? Aw, I feel bad. He just wants to help. Here comes Bolse. Yep. And that's nothing compared to him. That's like a little fucking bath. Little. <laughs> it's like what he uses to shower. And Hilling was the only one who really noticed him. In terms of working hard and wanting to contribute and stuff like that. Boji's the goat. Boji's the goat, come on. Okay, Kage, way to tie him up. Let's go, and Mitsumata made it. Yes. Yes. This was a much needed reunion. After Boji went on his little journey. Aww. And I need to know what happened to Boji's mom, too, man. Always had her, and when she went, we had healing, too. でも得体が知れないし、まがまがしさも感じるわ。ケンさん。この方はすでにボッチ様の命を何度も救っております。Now Hilling feels like she was the rude one. She's embarrassed and everything. <laughs> I love Dorshi, I love Hilling too. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. <laughs> right? Probably haven't felt like that since your mom. Are we gonna heal them too? I know it's not their fault, because they were directed to by Miranjo, but that just shows how good of a person Boji is, you know? I mean, innately, they're just animals. You know, we saw their little origin, how they're just, you know, they were technically used by Miranjo. Is he gonna show some respect towards Boji? Boji's like, what, you want round two? He's probably like, I've never had somebody so small do that to me. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. I firmly agree. I didn't know he was doing that. I thought he was just acknowledging him. Gigan. He's... I love characters like that. So... We got Gigan. We got these dog creatures that seem to be cool with us now that we healed them. I mean... Animals are very much like that. You show compassion towards them, they appreciate it. We got Hilling, who's amazing. Dorshi, who's amazing. Who are we going to see right now? It's either going to be Apius and Moranjo. Daisha. I was not expecting Daisha. Captain's the only one left. And he can just suck his blood. Like, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. That is literally insane. This man can use ma- Oh, no, he got magic. I thought he was summoning the smite, like a thunder lightning. Was that why he's like, un- Is he under them in the underworld, just positioning himself right? So he could be like, okay, it's probably like right here. Yeah! Like a Pikachu down B. Immortality. He's like Bond from Seven Deadly Sins. That kind is he. Yup. Really? It's like a curse. So he's immortal, but it's fucking driven him insane. Wow, I kind of like that. They can't lose anything physical, all they lose is their soul. 
Now, what is this? This is the gateway Miranjo was using that Domas and Hakuro are going to destroy, but I'm so curious how these stories are going to start being interwoven, you know? Like, I truthfully have no idea. Talk about a couple of episodes. I knew shit was going to hit the fan. I knew it was going to get wild. But again, with the plot twists by Ranking of Kings, I can never expect what they're going to throw at me. I was not expecting Apius and Miranjo to sort of have some sort of disagreement or discussion about what's going to happen with Hilling. Makes sense due to Apius' old emotional ties to them. But Miranjo then dealing with the black villain. I forget his name. It has something like the black murderer, black butler, and then red copper. I know that. And then Apius was just not having it. And then the other guy who I've said has been very rational and actually understanding of the situation in the last couple episodes did his normal thing, but now he took out APS and they're actually taking Miranjo, who didn't turn to gold, so I wonder if she's okay with it. We didn't actually get to see what happened, so I'm a little butthurt about that. But in terms of Boji coming in, saving Mitsu, well, okay. In terms of Dorshi popping off and popping off, killing, saving them in, in return, and then Mitsumata saving everyone, and then him getting his ass whooped, and then Boji saving him, killing MVP of this episode, Mitsumata and Okay, Mitsumata and Dorshi and Hilling all are MVPs this episode. Absolutely. I give it to them for their work against those dogs and everything. Because that was absolutely fantastic. And then Boji coming in, gaining followers, showing why he's the best in the world, healing everyone, literally gaining an abundance of people who love and, sh and, and care for him under our very eyes. Like, we're literally seeing that. He's, he's gaining retainers, as Kage said. Just pure insanity. Absolutely fantastic episodes. Enjoying the animation, the new opening, fantastic. Super excited to continue to see where this goes. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with me. Twitch.tv slash Dapperterius. Great vibes, great community. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access, full length. All the links for everything in the description like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.